Hi, this is Majana. Hey, with a little tug from the universe and a lot of help from Thomas, I have my own podcast. Life After Life is available on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play, and YouTube. We explore angels, guides, and the non-physical realm with stories about my own experience. If you're curious about what else might be out there, this is the show for you. We keep these short and to the point. So come play with us, Life After Life with Majana. M-A-J-O-N-A. See you there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. I just had one of those encounters with the universe, and I'm in the moment. And it's like, I wanted to share this with you. This is so incredible, and yet why are we, why, this, this is what I'm dealing with in this encounter with the universe is not that it happened. It's my feelings as it happened and how I'm even feeling now in the aftermath of it. So here's what happened. You know from my story that because of who I was in the world, honestly, my relationship with my brother was strained. And I created that, and I completely own that. And to his amazing credit, he has given the relationship another chance. So it's mine again to screw up, but he has made himself vulnerable to come into my space, knowing that what was there back in the day of my story in the early podcasts, you know the story if you followed it, if you're new to the podcast, by the way, welcome. All of this is kind of sequential going back to the early to the early episodes, so you can go back there and get um, brought up to speed on what I'm talking about here. But it just was tense, and we didn't have a great relationship. So I've set a lot of intentions that our relationship now going forward from here forever will be absolutely amazing. No question, no doubt in my mind that we have a soul history. And we have not been able to explore that in this incarnation, but uh, who knows? I guess we're doing it right now. <laughs> Maybe that's what this is all about. So uh, we have reconnected here uh, even recently on common ground of an area that he and I both just absolutely love and are totally passionate about, and that is legacy, amazing, high-quality broadcast and audio recording equipment. My brother runs a, an audio production company in Kansas City, and I ran a video production company in Dallas for the, basically we were doing our thing at the same time, me video, he audio. And he has, um, he because of changes in that business, he has brought the equipment that he has into his home and uh, runs a thriving business from there and is just doing great. Well, we've reconnected over these old microphones, and he loaned me one of his. Now, these are microphones that are classics, old radio station broadcast classic microphones. And he was willing, I mean, just I'm so appreciative of this. He was willing to put one of his in a box and ship it to me. So I tried it out, fell in love with it, and was like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm going to take the plunge. So I got one, and I shipped his back to him. Now, that's where the story begins, at least the story of this encounter with the universe today. And this is just a fun little, I mean, this is not any big deal. It's not, but it's what I want to capture and what I want you to get is my reaction. Because I would imagine that you probably would have the same. <laughs> it's like, why do we do this? Okay, so basically I shipped his mic back and we were all set up for him to, you know, signature to receive it. And he uh, texted me this morning and said, well, he was going to redirect it because he wanted to go play golf today. It was a beautiful day, and he wanted to get outside. So, you know, we exchanged thumbs up. And then just like, I don't know, 45 minutes later, he said, the package arrived. Got it. And this was like 1030 in the morning. I shipped it for afternoon standard delivery. So he got the mic before he left to go play golf. Thumbs up, right? Legacy old broadcast microphone have found its way back home and and uh, happy owner signed for it and all is well. Well, I, too, 
had a microphone arriving here today. <laughs> Not an old legacy one, a new one. I got a Neumann for those of you aficionados, and I'm using it right now. How does it sound? Um, so my Neumann was coming today. Now, these are not things that you want to leave on a front porch and come to find out I had to sign for it anyway. But I was supposed to receive this mic and then a lunch meeting came up and I forgot to change the delivery. So the microphone was going to arrive while I was going to be gone. So if I had to sign for it, I wouldn't be here, wouldn't get it today. And certainly they weren't going to leave it on the porch and I wouldn't want it left on the porch. Okay, so so I get this text from my brother that he got his microphone early, and I just thought, ooh, I like that. There is an air of energy about early deliveries today. So I did what we've talked about oh so many times on here. I set an intention into that energy. I just said, hey, mine is going to get here before I have to leave for this meeting. You know where I'm going with this. <laughs> <laughs> You've been around here long enough. Yeah. 35 minutes before I had to leave for the meeting, I look out the window and there's UPS in front of the house. Now that part, like I said, that part doesn't surprise me as much as the reaction that I had in that blink moment of, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> you know, I was like, no, this isn't real. Right. It's like, oh, it's that lack of trust. Why was my reaction not? Of course, he's here. Of course, it's he's right on time. In fact, he's 10 minutes early. And when he came to the door and I did have to sign, he said, well, I was just my he said his something about his delivery route had gotten changed and he was just around the corner and he thought he would slide by here to see if I was available. That's how the universe works. Why in the least little tiny bit would I be surprised by that? I just cashed in on the connection energy with my brother, trying to connect with my brother, sending him all kinds of love. So love was encapsulated in this. Loving this space of this relationship that's bubbling up talking about these microphones and every little text just being a wonderful experience in and of itself. And I've been really enhancing my equipment to do a lot of different work. As I've been putting love into my home studio, the local radio station that I've done broadcasts for uh, radio shows for called with a show. So I'm working on that one. Then they called with another one. And the lunch meeting was with a third show. So not only did I catch the energy of the, of the uh, microphone delivery being early for my brother, and I just like, well, I'll take one of those too. Then I'm going out to the third radio program because I've been putting so much love and effort into this thing that I absolutely love. You see how this, so why why then? This is where I'm like, when will we ever learn? It's like, oh my gosh, you would think by now, right? That my reaction would be, ah, thank you. And it was. That's one of the things I've been trying to tighten up too, by the way. And I would really encourage you to do this. Tighten up the time between the occurrence and the time you say thank you. So in other words, you are always looking for ways to say thank you, to express gratitude. You always have your finger on the trigger, if you will, to say thank you, universe. See, the way I used to do it is I would go, oh, yeah, you know, six hours later or with the head on the pillow that night or something. And I'm like, oh, gosh, I forgot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. But no, it's like being in that moment of it just happened and you look up to the sky or you bow your head or you put your hand on your chest or whatever your little expression is. And you just in that moment capture that gratitude. The universe so smiles on that kind of attitude. So I did immediately. I, mine is I just look up. I don't know why I look up. Pleiades up there, something, other galaxies, other realities, uh, higher, right? Higher, looking to connect higher. So I just looked up and I said, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
at the same time, I'm dealing with the emotion inside of myself that was saying, I can't believe this just happened. (laughs) And then instantly behind that, the emotion of, of course, you're not supposed to be surprised, right? Of just being in that, yeah, you created this. Yeah, you connected it. And then connecting the dots of how the whole sequence fit together, like I just said being with my, in the space of my brother, being with the love. All of those things came to vivid memory right then. So my encouragement to you is just do what I just talked about. <laughs> Connect with energy of things that you love. Express gratitude quickly. And I guess the next thing, if, I, if my gratitude is happening quicker, the next thing I'm going to start doing is being in the mindset of, but of course, it should be like this. In fact, I'm going to practice that. I got about uh, four or five days in a row here of a stretch that I'm going to be able to just work on that. So I'm going to go look for little happy, beautiful surprises, and I'm going to say, but of course, it should be like that. It's like the podcast I did while I was back in Aspen. I can have what I want. You remember I said, get in a little funny voice. I can have what I want. I can have everything and I want. You know, you're being playful with it. It's like, it's funny. Yeah, it's like, have fun. Of course, the guy is here 40 minutes before I have to leave. Thank you, universe. What's next? And I'll leave it with that. You get the message. Now let's put it to practice. I'm Thomas Miller. Thanks for listening. Enjoy the journey.